So, will you, will you be my Valentine? Are, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the CMC squad. Hey guys, it's me, Beauty, and Spirit, and Charlie. For this week's video, everybody, I will be doing a very, very cool Valentine's craft. So we have a nice little Valentine's Day love puppy, and we have a beautiful Valentine's bee. Let's go ahead and get started. So I just thought I'd show you guys what it will end up to look like in the end. So now we can definitely get started with the fun part, which is making our little, little, cute, little Valentine crafts. So first of all, let's go ahead and start off with the puppy. So um, these actually aren't glued together yet. So if they come apart, that's okay, because they will have to come apart. So we'll take this little guy first of all. So it's meant to just be a nice little Valentine's love puppy. Now I am choosing to use the colors white, light pink, and hot pink, and brown, and then some green googly eyes, and then a nice little dark blue color for some little whiskers. Now I know cats have whiskers, but you know, I just thought it would be very, very cute on little puppy dog. Plus, yes, dogs do have those tiny little hairs sticking up there. So. What you want to do is, because you guys probably didn't know what this video was going to be about before you even watched it, you guys probably don't know the supplies for it. So all you'll be needing is some cardstock paper of any colors you want. If you really did want, you could actually draw on the eyes, you could draw on a nose, draw on ears and a belly, but I just thought gluing it all together with different pieces and colors of paper would be really, really fun. You can also use any different colors for your belly, your head, your ears. But I decided to use white for my ears and paws, light pink for a head, green eyes, brown little nose, a brown kind of little back, you could say, and a hot pink stomach. So, oh, and, oh dear, where did it go? Oh, there we go. And I also got a cute little hot pink tongue because who doesn't want a nice, big, slobbery, adorable dog on you all the time? So let's go ahead and get started with our big circle at the back. Now this circle, you can actually make your dog whatever size you want, but I chose to make mine, you know, a pretty good medium-sized dog. And I actually have heart tracers here, so I trace everything with the heart. And this, I actually grabbed a mug or a cup and I traced around it, but make sure you ask your parent or guardian for help with that and you definitely ask them if you can use something to trace it with. And of course, be very, very careful when you are cutting out all your things. Definitely have someone to help you. Even if someone's helping you, you definitely still wanna make sure they're careful as well. So once again, let's go ahead and grab our big brown circle at the back. And what you also be needing is some glue, I have some Elmer's glue. I have both of these. I have the normal Elmer's glue and then the extreme Elmer's glue. I think I'm gonna go with some extreme for now. And when you are putting on the googly eyes, you will most likely need some more liquidy glue. I have some Elmer's glue. And because my bottle's almost empty, I will also be using some tiny Q-tips to help me get it out of the bottle, which you guys definitely, definitely can do to help you, but make sure you don't waste any Q-tips at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my Elmer's glue, and this is extreme glue, but really guys, you can use a smaller glue stick, and it absolutely does not have to be Elmer's, and it does not have to be extreme. I just thought it's a really cool color, actually. Kinda like a, I don't know, icy blue, minty color. And I'm gonna put away my tracers because these are thick and they're only for tracing. I am going to, first of all, just take my head, my little heart, and this is going to be the biggest heart. And I'm going to turn it upside down. So these will look like big chubby cheeks on your dog, on your little puppy. And you're going to take any marker you want. I'm using a Sharpie, a blue, dark blue Sharpie, and put three dots on this side and three dots on that side. This part is actually optional, but I just thought it would be really cute once again. And of course, any, any color you want. You don't have to use Sharpies. It just worked best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and align it nicely just so it's a little bit on my circle because I wanna make sure that there's still room for my heart so I can just see if I can put this 
little chest piece there. And because that will work fine, it's all gonna work fine. But another easier way to do it is to do the little heart piece for the belly first. So I'm gonna take my heart, grab my glue, put out some glue a bit more, and I'm gonna put some glue on the back of my heart. Now this actually has the pencil tracing line. So this is the one that I'm going to put some glue on. Just like that. And once again, this is extreme glue. You guys do not have to use extreme glue if you really don't want to. For this part, you can actually use your more liquidy glue. Ooh, very, very slimy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this little gluey heart and put it at the bottom of my circle. Right like that, put the tip there. It doesn't have to be perfect in the middle. Try your best to get in the middle. Ooh, very, very extreme sticky glue. I can use the bottom of my glue to actually push it down. And if I wanted, I can actually put more glue on the top to give it another surface. So if I want, I can do that at the end. There we go, we have my stomach on, and now we get to the head, upside down heart. We're gonna put it on just so it will meet the tips of the belly, just like that. It's okay if it's overlapping the little stomach there. I'm gonna make it overlap just a little bit, and therefore, on the tips of my heart, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Just a little bit on the tips. Grab my glue and make sure you have a protected surface. Just a little bit like that. And there we go. We already have my puppy's head on and little belly. Next up, we are going to go ahead and do the paws. For our paws, we are going to take our smaller heart and put it like this horizontally so the little bumps are facing this way inside of the belly. And we're just gonna put it like that the end of the heart should be a little bit outwards, not glued down. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but instead, like this. Grab my glue. Put it like this. And it's meant to not be on the puppy's head, but if it does, it's okay. Maybe your little puppy's getting a Valentine's itch. Just like that, that's one of them. And now I can grab my other one. Oh no. And just like that, we only have to do the nose, the tongue, and the eyes, and the ears. So, what you could have done with the tongue to make it a little bit easier is you could have not glued this little bit. So then you could stick it right under there, underneath the tongue. But now that it's the same color, it kind of looks like it's a part of the belly. So what I can do here if I wanted to is actually cut this smaller so I can just put it right there. But if I wanted, I can actually put it right there as well. Right like that. my little puppy tongues underneath. So to make it easier for yourself, before you put on the head, you can actually put on the little puppy tongue. But for me, I completely forgot that I wasn't supposed to glue this part so that I could put that under there and then glue it afterwards. But still, it's looking fabulous. Now I'm gonna put on my little nose. So my little nose, I'm gonna put right here in the middle of my heart, just right there, nice and simple. tiny bit of glue on it. T 
Sometimes I can even just put it right on my puppy dog's face. Perfect. Now, before I do the ears, I'm going to cap my glue stick and I'm going to get some liquidy glue. So now because my bottle's almost empty, I'm going to take my glue bottle and open it, if I can. And I'm going to have my open glue, take a Q-tip or a toothpick, squeeze it just a little bit, and grab a tiny, tiny bit of glue. You see, I don't need much. I'm going to align where I want my little eyes. I want this one around here, just like that. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the back of this. Just dab it on, don't need much. See, just a little bit. Right there, whoops. Very, very slidey. We'll just let that one there. Do the same thing with this one. And it's okay because the glue will dry and become see-through afterwards. So my eyes are perfectly done. I go ahead and throw this out, making sure my glue doesn't get anywhere else. Or if I want, I can actually clean it up with the other side that's cleaner, but I really don't have to. Cap my glue bottle back on, and I could wait for this to dry, but instead, I'm just going to keep going with my art, and I'll let it dry closer to the end. And now I'm gonna take my little other small white hearts, and put it right here on my dog. One here and one here. Mine's a bit more squished together, but it's fine. Take my glue again. Just here. And that is my Valentine's love puppy. Pull my ears down a bit better next time. And it's very, very sweet. Once again, it's not perfect at all, but I sure do love it. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and let it dry and let you guys see it one more time at the end of the video. But now, while that is drying, I will go ahead and get my parts for my Valentine's B out. So this one, I've actually got some, oh no, whoops. Ooh, these things are sticking to me. I've actually got my two googly eyes, which are actually mismatched colors. So I'll put these right there. Got antennas, little hearts to go at the end, and we've got all the same size hearts besides the tiny, tiny ones at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a black heart and get a yellow heart and put it right here, just on top of it so you can still see a bit of that black. So grab my glue, just like that, and start gluing. I can either put the glue on my black and then stick it on, or put the glue on my yellow and then stick it on. I think I'm gonna see how it goes with my black.
just so there's no sticky nonsense coming up at the back of this one. So, a little more down here. Oh no. Grab it. And put it right on it. So I want it to be right here. And there we have it. That is already one of my things done. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my little black heart. But this time I'm gonna put the glue on my yellow heart. So once again, it'll just be making it way more easy for me as I go on with this craft. Now with this one, we're actually gonna write some cute words on it, which is be my Valentine. So we're just gonna keep a little bit more space there so we can fit it in with a marker afterwards. So I'll try and not put any glue on it. The best I can. But I cannot promise anything. Around here. Perfect. And now, the exact same thing with my last yellow one. Whoops. Now that I have all my little cute bee body there, I'm going to go ahead and grab my big wings, which are going to be red, but you can of course change the colors. And I'm just going to stick it on at the back, just like that, but I wanna make sure there's still some space so you can definitely see the wing. So I can flip this over and put it right here, I'll say. Yeah, but right here. And it does not have to be perfect at all. My bee's a bit more smaller, but that's okay. It's still very, very, very pretty. So this time I'm gonna grab my glue back. Just like that. And put it on right here. That is oops, one sticky wing. And now I'll put the same one on on the other side. Same exact thing. Now it is completely perfect, you guys, but we're not finished yet. So we're very, very close to being finished. But now we're gonna put on some antennas. So we're going to go ahead and put one antenna on the back right here. And we're gonna do the same with this one right here. Now it's already sticking a bit because there's some glue there, but just in case, I'm gonna put a bit more over here because I wanna make sure it stays on very, very nicely. Both sides, oops, time to put it on. Making sure my little pencil marking is at the back so you don't see it. It doesn't need to be the exact same size. I just try my best to make the same size. Now I made mine a little bit crooked like this, just so maybe it looks like some love is breezing in with a little bit of a breeze from the wind. And now I can add my little tiny hearts right here at the top. I can make them go, whoops. <laughs> I can make them go outward, inward, but I think I'm just gonna put them right up top. A little bit of glue on the sticks, antennas. And it's okay if they're touching, actually. There we go. I love it when it's touching because it looks like two hearts are meeting each other. Oh, so super duper sweet. And now comes to the second last part. My little heart nose. So tiny, but it's brown. You can barely see it. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and 
put on my googly eyes just so I know the proper size and the proper place of where I want to put it afterwards. Grab my glue, open it, and once again, I'm going to take a Q-tip. So I could have used the one from last time, but instead I think I'm just gonna use a brand new one because I have three here, just in case. Got it, squeeze it. Oh no, put some on. And then we've got our googly eyes. Perfect. Got that here. I think that I wanna put the blue one on the right side and the pink one on the left side. So I'll just put it right here. Right there. And right there. Use the back of it to help me, maybe. If I feel as if I need. And it's absolutely perfect. Now, finally, we will have my tiny little beanos. Cap my glue, make sure no one spills it. Tiny, tiny nose. Just a bit of glue. I'll actually put some glue on my little part here. Just like that. And the very last part of our whole crafty art project is grab a Sharpie or a pen or anything you want. I will be using a purple Sharpie and I will write on it. Be my Valentine. But instead of writing B with B-E, I'm gonna write B-E-E. -E. So it's actually spelled like the animal. B. My, and I'll see if I can, oh no. Oh, sticking. Be my Valentine. Okay, this is going to be so perfect. I just can't even write the word Valentine. I'm too excited. Okay, here we go. Valentine. Valentine. You can add an exclamation mark at the end if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Be my Valentine and be my favorite CNC squad forever. That's it for this week's video, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed. And yes, this was actually a bonus video. I did already post yesterday, but I felt because I'm not gonna be posting on Monday because it'll mess up my whole schedule, why not add a little bonus Valentine's Day craft? So what did you think about this, beauty? You know what? I thought this was like a great idea, but you know, you did talk like a lot at the beginning. Oh, I, I did, didn't I? But what you should have been telling everyone is that we love you all so much with all of our hearts. We really hope you enjoyed this craft and we'll see you next time. Bye for now, CMC squad. Will you please be my Valentine? I already am.